Hello, uh, I'm Mr Beaumont, the Year 6 teacher and assistant head teacher. And in our class we have Mrs Boltswain, who is our teaching and welfare assistant. Uh, I just want to let you know that your children have settled in brilliantly and you, they are making sensational progress. The work that they are producing is of the highest quality and it's just like they've never been away. Now homework in Year 6 is uh, substantially different to any other year group. And as we know, in preparation for SATs, uh, homework changes vastly. Uh, you have your CGP revision guides that are available but to purchase via Parent Pay. And also, we'll be covering a lots of homework via Purple Mash and by Timetables Rockstars. Uh, we're doing this to try and eliminate the issues that we have in terms of children losing their homework and basically make it as online friendly as possible. Um, in terms of expectations of when homework will be given out or set, it will be done and set on a Monday uh, evening uh, with the expectation that the children will produce their homework or complete it online via, uh, until Friday morning. Um, basically giving them the, every opportunity possible in order to complete the work to the highest possible standard. But also, if they come across any issues doing the homework, we have opportunities via Class Dojo to contact me in order to address the issues and get the homework done to the best possible standard as quickly and efficiently as possible. Now, reading in Year 6 is an absolutely essential skill. Um, home reading, we will be asking the children to read a book for pleasure that is appropriate to their reading level. And it is expected that the children in our class read three times a week as a bare minimum requirement. Now, the reading in our class underpins our writing, it underpins our retrieval, inference and deduction skills that we use in our SATs. And I like to think that reading for pleasure stimulates the children in a way that they makes them want to read and become lifelong learners. That being said, I understand it is a very tricky situation to be in trying to get your children to read. Now, the expectations of the amount in which children read are, I do not want the children to be reading any longer than for a period of 10 minutes. Not in terms of books or pages. I mean, 10 minutes, three times a week, is more than enough for us at year six level. Um, please, please encourage your children to read uh, a little and often. And ideally use each day as an opportunity to get a little bit of reading done as it substantially improves their abilities to write and their vocabulary levels. Now, the PE days for Year 6 are Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the children are expected to wear the house coloured PE shirt and are expected to come in uh, black or navy trap suit bottoms or leggings if they prefer. And the trainers, please feel free to let them come in in any trainers that they want. Um, as far as we are concerned though, the only issue that we have is the wearing of hoodies. Now, as I've explained to quite a few parents and I've explained by past order and, and the previous statement that I sent last week was that hoodies will be allowed to be worn into school, but it will be expected that they are taken off as they enter the building. Um, basically, this is for their own well-being and self-esteem. And we're, we're doing this as based to, in order to, for the group to feel united. And moving forward, it, it's just so that we minimize any issues with in terms of loss of property and in terms of making the children feel um, a little bit different to one another. Now in year six we have four amazing topics that we cover. Uh, the first topic that we look at is the topic of London and we look at a lot of different things. First and foremost we find out where London is in relation to Darwin. We then try to understand what London is like in comparison to Darwin. And we look at things such as population density, over congestion, urbanisation, and the change in London from Roman times to modern day. 
in writing, we use London as a stimulus. Uh, for instance, we do persuasive pieces in order to attract tourism to London. And in particular, we use London as a theme, as a setting for our main piece of narrative for the half term. The children will be able to write in the style of Arthur Conan Doyle to produce a Sherlock Holmes narrative, all based within London and very, very, very child friendly. The second topic that we look at is the topic of the USA. Now, USA is an absolutely amazing topic to look at because we get the chance to really, really try and understand the effects the USA has had on the world. In particular, the effects of the equal rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. We look in detail of how Martin Luther King changed the world. We look at newspaper reporting and in particular writing a newspaper report on the March for Jobs and Freedom that happened in the 1960s. The third topic that we will look at is the effects that the Tudors had on us. Now, looking at the Tudor family, we all know the amazing stories of Henry VIII, but we find out more about his father and his children and the impact that they have had on our lives. The children will produce diary entries, they will produce persuasive writing pieces, all underpinned via the topic of the Tudors. And the final topic that we have this year is a very interesting local history topic all based around Victorian Darwin. Now, this topic is based about trying to get the children to understand what it would have been like to be a child worker in the mills around the local area. We're trying to get the children to develop empathy. We're trying to get the children to try and realise what it must have been like working those long hours. And we do it in a very respectful way. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that the children will love these topics. They just need to show up, work hard and learn as much as they possibly can. This enables us to develop a broad and balanced curriculum that isn't just focused on passing the SATs, but giving them an opportunity to develop the lifelong learning skills and base it around an inquiry based approach that enables your children to leave year six well grounded individuals that have had been abreast of a lot of topics going on in the world. Welcome back to St Barnabas Church of England Primary Academy. I'm Mrs Ham, the head teacher, and on behalf of all of our staff, I'd like to welcome you all back into our school family for a new and exciting school year. We've all had to learn to do things differently over the last couple of weeks and months, such as social distancing, increased hand washing, staggered starts and finishes, and staggered breaks and lunch times. We've also had to get used to class bubbles in school, but the children have really taken it all in their stride, and it's been amazing to see their huge Mother Teresa smiles. Our Christian values are at the heart of everything we do at St Barnabas. They are forgiveness, friendship, generosity, trust, respect, service and courage. St Barnabas was known in the Bible as an encourager, so we work hard to encourage each other to persevere and try our best. We manage our behaviour through our Christian values and ask our children to reflect on whether they have demonstrated our Christian values. In weekly family worship, we learn which values each class has been focusing on and how they've demonstrated that value. We continuously reflect on how we can show our Christian values in and out of our school and in our community and the wider world. Whilst your child's on their journey through our school, you can expect us to work hard to ensure that they have the best possible education whilst also having a lot of fun. We expect you to support our school to educate your child. Please make sure you arrive at school on time and be mindful of parking. Outside of our school, we don't have a great deal of parking, so we do encourage our parents to park further away and then walk uh, in, up to the schoolyard. Please ensure your child attends school regularly. Attendance is so important and every school day counts. Please ensure your child is smart and proud of their appearance, that they're wearing the correct school uniform and they're not wearing earrings and jewellery. Please help them to be ready to learn by getting lots of sleep at home, making sure that they go to bed early and they're ready in the morning, refreshed and have come to school having already had their breakfast and ready to learn. 
Please support them with any tasks to be completed at home, their homework and home reading. If you could let us know of any changes in your contact details or any home circumstances, please let us know and let our school office know. If your child is going to be absent for any reason, please let us know at school. We have a duty of care towards your children and we need to investigate if they're not in school. So please let us know. If not, we will be contacting you and we'll be trying to find out why they're not in school. If you have any issues or concerns, please speak to us. I'm on the schoolyard most mornings and after school. If you've got any issues, any worries, any concern, please contact us. There are so many ways that you can keep in touch with us and we really do pride ourselves on our effective communication with our parents. If you've got any issue at all, like I've just said, please don't sit on the issue, just contact us and it can easily be resolved. You may phone the school office at any time or contact us via email. However, our class teachers will only be available to speak to you after school as they'll be setting up lessons in the morning and teaching throughout the day. The most effective way to contact class teachers directly though is through class doors or messages. And like I've said, I'll be on the schoolyard each morning and after school, so please feel free to speak to me or any other staff member about any concerns or questions. We'll keep you informed of any upcoming events through Class Dojo, Twitter and our Friends of St Barnabas Facebook page. We'll also let you know what your child has been learning each week by showing photographs from the week on our class stories on Class Dojo. Any payments to be made are made via parent pay as we are a cashless school. All infants are entitled to a universal free school meal so there'll be no lunch payments required for the first three years of your child's education. Thank you so much for your continued support and being so patient with us with our staggered starts and finishes. It's been an absolute delight to have all the children back into school again and you can hear a real buzz around school which is fantastic. We can't wait for the rest of the year. Thank you very much and again if you have any questions or queries please do not hesitate to contact us via Class Dojo or the school office. Thank you.